The technique used in this video is extremely skill based. Artist discretion is advised. Please, if you're not already good at making SFM posters, this may or may not go over your head. Now I'm not saying this to put people down, but this really is giving a Cub Scout a double-edged lightsaber. May the source be with you. In the normal world of traditional art, there is something called force perspective. I'm sure you've heard of it somewhere. You know, those nerds putting their hands on the towering pizza? If you remember in my video, Is SFM Easy to Learn? I said something about not having to worry about perspective. And I was right. But that doesn't mean you can't abuse it. Maybe in a year or two I'll be able to explain why people do this. But for now, something about a different view on a poster just draws you in a little bit more than it would normally. Although I'm sure you didn't come here to hear me talk about art ramblings and definitions. In SFM you have the ability to move non-IK rig bones anywhere on the map, but it looks weird, doesn't it? Well the trick is, if you take the bones and move it either away or towards your definitive camera, you will be able to trick the viewer's eye and create a poster with a different feel of depth perception. While doing the technique, if you feel the need to scale up or scale down any of the bones, don't forget that through the utilities by right clicking a bone, you can individually scale models. This will take practice and be fairly challenging to pull off right. That's kind of why I told you if you're not really into this, you shouldn't really jump in quite yet. So please, be careful, and thanks for watching.